What if I told you there is a project that could completely redefine how we create open world games inside of Unreal Engine? It's packed with groundbreaking resources, cutting edge tools, tons of free assets, and it is something that every developer needs to see. This could be the ultimate game changer for Unreal Engine, introducing Project Titan, a brand new open world sample project that you can download right now on Fab. It is a large 8x8 km open world map packed to the brim with free assets, different biomes ranging from from forests to volcanoes, desert biome and canyons biome, things like a snow forest, and so much more. It includes a custom character and open world locomotion featuring gliding around, sliding, and being able to grapple onto anything and launch yourself, very similar to sort of the movement in Legend of Zelda. So here we are in the sample project. By the way, this project is absolutely massive. So I just got this entire map downloaded and it's over 70 gigabytes in download size. So it's absolute beast to download and the reason why it is massive is because this was actually a community collaborative project so basically hundreds if not thousands of artists came together to create 3d models and assets textures and work together on this project alone so they're able to make this entire map in under three months and the end result was this eight by eight kilometer open world map that is very well detailed with a lot of hand placed props and assets but also uses a lot of procedural generation now before we get any further on into the video, I want to quickly tell you about this video sponsor. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well, I was in your same position many years ago, and so that's why I created the Ultimate Unreal Engine 5 Multiplayer Survival Game Course. This course will teach you step by step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system, a crafting system, system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and clans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help Help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount. The price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer. So take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below. Yeah, so here we are in the project and we can go ahead and take a look. A couple of things that you guys need to note are the controls. So we have our basic character over here. We can jump, we can sprint. And a neat little thing about the jump or the movement locomotion is depending on how long you hold down the space bar, will actually determine how much of a jump they will take. So if you just tap it, you'll see that we have just a simple jump. Okay, so we have our glider. So if I hold down spacebar, that will actually allow us to glide, which is pretty neat. It's kind of like the you know Legend of Zelda. Glider isn't that fast though, so it's not really a great way to get around the map. The faster method is to use the walk. So if you press F, you can see that it will launch sort of this walk that you can actually slide around the map with. And the neat thing about the movement is it's all set up using the new mover component inside of Unreal Engine 5, which is sort of like the character movement component 2.0. So this new movement component is supposed to be fully, you know, multiplayer replicated and also has things like network prediction, which is very useful for multiplayer games. But yeah, we can go ahead and we can actually even float on the water with this. So it's sort of like a boat as well. So yeah, this map is absolutely massive. And I'll show you guys the end of the video, just a zoom out of the entire map. It's a eight by eight kilometer map and it is packed to the brim and detailed with tons of unique assets. That's why it's such a large package size. It's about 70 gigabytes in size for the entire project because they have all these different unique user created assets so no town is similar in the fact that you have you know the same buildings they use a lot of unique different props 
and it's very well detailed like even the interiors of the buildings have unique props it's not like an open world game where you'd go into some village and they'd have the same building for each building in the town and then you go walk inside of the building and it has you know the same bed the same sort of props in the inside but yeah here you can see there's a massive volcano and so this is using world partition feature inside of Unreal Engine 5. So basically world partition allows you to have open world maps by streaming in parts of the map at runtime. And also has a LOD or HLOD in the background. So you can see, you know, points of interest in the background, like a massive volcano. Yeah, here we are in some sort of forest biome and the frame rate isn't the best right now because I'm running this in, you know, in the editor. So I'd probably run better if I were to actually package the game, which I might actually do and make a separate video about that. So yeah, we're spawning in again. And here we are, you kind of spawn in the center whenever you hit the play button. So if you want to actually play in a different region, you can either, you know, set, reset the spawn point. But there's a couple of other locomotion movement things that you can do. You can use the grapple hook. So basically how the grapple hook works is you're going to right click and then left click and that will allow you to grapple. So you can right click in sort of aim, and once it turns a green, you can only grapple upwards. You can sling yourself forward. So it's sort of like a, I don't know, Spider-Man sort of move. Let's see if we can grapple up here. It looks like it's too far to get up there. Now there isn't any sort of combat system or enemy NPCs or anything like that. It's really just the map and the character locomotion. So it's not like a full game template that has, you know, all these RPG game elements. But nonetheless, there's still a lot of things that you can unpack from this game sample project, especially just the loads of different assets in the project itself. So there's tons of different stylized props. And the interesting about some of these assets in here is not everything is as cartoony or stylized as you may think. Yeah, in fact, some of the assets are nanite, have nanite tessellation. So they're very extremely detailed in geometry, even if it might not look like that because of, you know, the stylized cartoony look. But yeah, this project is packed with lots of asset packs. So I believe you can actually use some of these assets in your games and actually export them out and use them sort of as props that you can use because there's tons of unique assets. So we can see like this wagon over here. This thing is really nicely detailed. So there's tons of unique props like this in the game and different points of interest that I still have yet to visit. So maybe I'll make a separate video showing all the different you know, points of interest, all the different towns. And I didn't get the chance of actually working on this project. I heard about it when it was being developed. And a couple of other interesting things about this project, the whole landscape is actually set up using the landmass plugin inside of Unreal Engine. If you don't know what the landmass plugin is, I basically have some tutorials on my channel showing how to use it but basically they're like these different brushes that you can define and move around part of the landscape and it's a non-destructive method for creating things like mountains valleys rivers hills canyons all sorts of things in a map they also use built-in water tools from unreal engine like the water body oceans lakes and rivers so they didn't use any external program to create, you know, the terrain shape. It's all natively using some of the tools that are built into Unreal Engine. But yeah, you guys can download the project right now on Fab. I'll leave a link in the description of this video and check out this sample project right now. Just note that it is a massive download, 70 gigs in size plus. If you're going to try to load the actual map itself through World Partition, it's going to take hours to actually compile the shaders and everything. And if you don't have the strongest PC, it might take even longer than that. I mean, it took me just a couple of hours just to load into everything. And even then it was pretty laggy itself, but maybe I'll make a separate video on how to use some of the free assets from this game, how to extract them and use them in a separate project because there's a lot of good stuff in here. And I think a lot of people could benefit from using the assets. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.